Andy Schaefer and Tony Luzio, two men who never knew each other until recently after both of their sons vanished. Now, with the help of Crime Stoppers, the fathers are turning to the airwaves to talk about drinking in hopes it will stop another tragedy. Amy Basista has more. Randy Schaefer and Tony Luzio share an unfortunate bond. Their sons, Brian and Tony Jr., have been missing for years now. Brian Schaefer was an OSU medical student who disappeared April 1st, 2006. I just want people to understand, you know, that uh, that's why Brian disappeared. I think uh, booze did affect uh, a lot of things that night. Tony Luzio Jr. has been missing since July 4th, 2005. I strongly believe that alcohol uh, played a major role in his, his disappearance. He either became a victim of a crime and was probably more vulnerable because he was intoxicated. Both families who lean on each other have searched rivers and on horses looking for their beloved boys. And tonight, these two men came together again, not for a search, but in hopes of saving lives. Mr. Schaefer, have a seat here. Mr. Luzio, have a seat there. Randy, Tony, and Crime Stompers are turning to television with a message. It's a simple fact. Over-serving alcohol to anyone is a dangerous mistake. But if you think it's a fact that selling too many drinks to someone is just routine business, then the fact is, you're wrong. Both men hope the PSA makes people think before heading out. By looking at my son and looking at Brian Schaefer, among many others, it's, uh, uh, it's a fact that men also can be a victim of a, of a crime. If you're out there and you want to have a good time, sure, but there should be a limit. You know, you yourself know when you've had too much to drink, so that's when you need to tell yourself that it's time to stop. The public service announcement will be ready for air in two weeks. It will then be delivered to every local television station as well as OSU. Crime Stoppers is also hoping it will air on the electronic billboards on high and broad. Colleen. All right, thank you.